What's going on, guys? Your boy, Coach Anthony, and none other than Fast Eddie Chambers. And today, we're going to give you tips on how to box a fighter or fight a boxer who moves a lot, okay? This is very, very important because you're going to bump into a lot of boxers who like to move. It's one of the main things that's taught to boxers when they're learning how to box, and a lot of guys implement this strategy, okay? And I'm going to have a special bonus tips, and some of these tips are going to tie into each other. So you don't want to skip through the video. You want to watch every single tip. These tips are really going to help you in your journey. So let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. Okay, tip number one when boxing a guy who likes to move a lot is be very aggressive. Okay, be the aggressor. Don't waste time trying to just uh, go tit for tat with him or whatever. Go right to him. Let him know that you're here to fight. Make him use those feet. You want him to use those feet because eventually it's going to work against him as we tie into these tips, okay? But go to him. Be very aggressive. That's tip number one. Okay, tip number two, which might sound contradictory to tip number one, is apply smart pressure, okay? Don't be over aggressive, okay? Now, I did say be very aggressive, but now I'm saying don't be over aggressive. And the reason why I said be very aggressive is for the first tip was you want your guy to know that you're there to put pressure on him, okay? That's the first thing. You want him to know that, but at the same time, you don't want to be silly because if you just run in, you may get counted with punches, right? So an example of that would be if he's the mover and I'm the guy putting the pressure, I'm simply getting closer, getting closer. He sees that I'm getting closer, okay? But I'm still doing it at a smart enough distance and I'm doing it at a controlled pace. I don't just want to run after him, okay? If you just start running after your opponent, good chance you're going to get countered. You're not going to see punches coming, okay? So tip number two is apply smart pressure. Tip number three is basically tying into the first two tips is cut the ring off. OK, now the thing is, you need to know how to cut the ring off. OK, and I got a video up here somewhere that will teach you how to cut the ring off. But to keep it real simple is whenever Eddie goes this direction, I go with him. Whenever Eddie goes that direction, I go with him. And of course, since he's moving and I'm pressing and I'm coming forward, I'm actually going to have to step to him as he's doing it. So it's like I'm stepping right to him. I'm stepping right to him and I'm letting him know that no matter where he's going, I'm boxing him in. OK, I'm keeping him in the box. He knows I'm coming to work and he's going to have to make some decisions. And he's going to have to make them quick. Either he's going to keep trying to escape or he's going to start letting his hands go. So putting that pressure is very important and cutting the ring off is one of the main things you need to know how to do when you're boxing a boxer who moves a lot. OK, tip number four is going to be establish your jab. Now, I know a lot of people say to themselves, well, hold on, isn't the guy who's moving a lot, the boxer, the guy who likes to fight from the outside, isn't that the guy who's working the jab? The guy from the inside should be throwing like the big power shots and all that. And that's not necessarily true. You need to get close to a guy with your jab. The jab is the closest hand to your target. So whether you're being the aggressor or you're being the guy controlling the outside of the ring, the matador, I should say, if you're the bull or the aggressor, you're going to need this jab. It's the number one punch in boxing. So if Eddie is moving a lot, right, and I'm working my jab, you see, it could disrupt his rhythm immediately simply by me just punching right to him, okay? And now he has to respect it. Now, of course, you're going to have to snap your jab. You're going to have to throw the jab to the head, throw the jab to the body. You can't just throw the jab to the same spot. Your defense needs to be tight as you're doing it. But as you're cutting the ring off, you can use the jab and I know the jab isn't necessarily considered a cutoff punch, but it can be used to cut off your opponent because if he's moving this way, I can throw a jab to stop him there to maybe throw the hair to then throw the cutoff shot there. So the jab is eventually it might not technically be a cutoff shot, but it can lead to the cutoff shots and it can lead to him being super defensive, which now in turn prevents him from moving which now gives me an opportunity to close the gap and get my work off. So establish your jab, very important. Okay, the next tip is gonna be use your head movement. Now, this is going to be used for a number of reasons. The number one reason is usually, okay, now, now I'm getting into more tactical stuff, but usually the guy who's moving a lot, quote unquote, he's typically using his jab, he usually, he's keeping me turning or whatever. So when I say use the head movement, as he's popping his jab, I'm slipping under jabs, you know what I'm saying? I'm slipping inside jabs or whatever, or 
I'm moving my head. I'm trying to get closer, okay? So as I'm using the head movement is also a determined, is also a way for me to close the distance. So the head movement is gonna be utilized as a defensive tool, but a defensive tool to get closer as well because now when he's missing from the outside with his extra movement and stuff and he's missing and I'm getting closer, I'm moving in, I'm getting closer, I'm using my head movement to get a little bit closer, now it's gonna disrupt him even more. So adding the head movement to the footwork when you're closing the distance, very important. One boxing guy who moves a lot. Okay, now, Tip, whatever tip. Whatever tip this is right now, I'm losing count of the tips again. <laughs> you guys are losing count of the tips. Tip number six, here we go. Tip number six, okay. It's gonna be punch off the head movement, okay? You don't just wanna make a guy miss, you wanna make him pay. So let's just say he's the aggressor, I'm the guy boxing from the outside, and I'm using my jab, and he comes here, come back with something immediately, okay? You know, because now if I'm trying to move a lot and he's coming to me, and I'm like, whoa, bang, goo, there you go. It's, it's lights out right there, most likely. You see what I'm saying? So as the aggressive guy, when you make a guy miss, you make him pay. Maybe I'm the... The guy boxing from the outside, I'm throwing a one, and now I think I collide him off for a two, and he outside slips my two and rips a hook to the body. Wow, Bang! You see what I'm saying? He's punching off the head movement. Okay, so these are the different tactics that you can use when you're boxing somebody who uses a lot of movement because, again, even though we're talking about a person who moves a lot, you got to remember they're also going to be punching. They're not just going to be moving. They're going to be moving and punching, okay? I just use the title move a lot because they're utilizing the footwork and boxing from the outside and doing this and that, okay? So punch off the head movement, very important. Okay, so we talked about all those other tips, head movement, punching off the head movement, countering off the slips. Now, like I said in the previous one, Maybe I throw the right hand and he slips and goes to the body. Bang! You want to go to the body as much as possible. So this tip is go to the body as much as possible. And the reason I say that is you want to take the legs away. And one of the best ways to take the legs away is to go to somebody's body. So whenever you get an opportunity, go to the body. If we're exchanging jabs and I throw a jab to his head and he throws a jab to my body, Take that jab to the body. You see what I'm saying? Take that hook to the body. If somehow he gets aggressive enough where he could get inside, start working the body, okay? Which is going to lead me to the next tip. Once you get on the inside, stay there, okay? Don't get on the inside and then let him off the hook. Make him pay for it. If he's on the ropes, keep him on the ropes. Don't let him off the ropes, okay? If you, if you get a chance to fight with him on the inside, stay on the inside, of course, hoping that you're winning those exchanges and winning that battle. You see what I'm saying? But if you're being the aggressor and this guy's moving a lot, your goal is to get him to not move so much. The reason why the guy's moving a lot is maybe they don't feel confident fighting on the inside because guys who feel confident standing their ground typically will. But if they're not confident, then they're going to simply be always looking for an escape route. Oh, because they were taught to hit and move, stick and move, stick and move, and they never really worked on their inside game. They never really worked in, you know, how to work in the pocket. Now, that doesn't go for every guy. Some guys are extremely good at both. But, again, if he's moving a lot, there's a reason for it. So you want to get there and test him and see if it's true. Maybe he can't fight on the inside that well, and that's why he doesn't want to stay there. So when you get to the inside, stay there. Go to the body as much as possible because when you go ahead and you're starting to soften them up downstairs, their legs get weak, and then an opportunity to go ahead and stop them. So make sure you do that. Okay, and since you stuck around to the end, we're going to give you the bonus tip. Drum roll. Here it goes. The bonus tip, and it's make them come to you. Oh, you ain't thinking that one. Oh, no, right? Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make them come to you, man. You know, uh... You start off the fight moving. Now somebody's got to start it off. Somebody's got to set the exchange off. You know what I mean? So maybe now I'm thinking I'm going to move, but now you're going to move. So now I'm like, oh, hold on. I got I to gotta set the pace. This guy don't want to fight. Bang. And now you start to test them. A lot of guys who move very well in that perimeter of the ring have trouble going forward. They're not as good going forward. They're used to controlling the outside. You know... <laughs> It's an anomaly situation that you find, find a boxer that does everything at an elite level. You know, some guys are really good at one thing, not so good at another thing. You know what I mean? Because for whatever reason, right? Like, uh, 
you know, like they say, man, sometimes it's like finding a needle in a stack of needles to find that perfect fighter, right? So, you know, you have to, you have to test these guys because when guys are known for doing one thing, we'll, we'll test them in a different area, okay? Maybe another way to get them to come after you is maybe you beat them to the punch immediately. Maybe you hit me with a jab and then you get the moving. Well, now I got to get it back, right? Because I just lost the round. He just hit me with a jab. Eventually, I got to try to get my jab back. So, move around. So, that's why I always say, guys, it's very important to learn everything. Learn how to box from the outside. Learn how to box from the inside. Learn how to fight in the pocket. Learn how to use the defense. Learn how to use shoulder rolls and bends at the waist. You know, learn how to fight with your hands up and block punches traditionally. Learn these things because... You never know which tool you're going to need depending on who you're fighting. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be willing to try different things, okay? So if you can get if you can get the guy to come after you, we'll find out real quick if he's good at being aggressive. And maybe he's not. You just figured out a way to beat the guy who moves a lot. Guys, go to the website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com if you guys want more help with your boxing. Make sure you go to the link description below. Sign up to the newsletter. Get the ebook. Get everything I got there. Just put your email in there. It's absolutely free, okay? You want to make sure you get these things, man. Um, I put them there for you guys to have them, all right? And make sure you guys go ahead and check out this next video right there. It's going to teach you guys how to beat the aggressive guy, okay? So I just told you how to box the guy from the, who moves a lot. I'm going to teach you how to box the aggressive guy. Go to that video right there. Eddie will be there with it. We'll be waiting for you.